Hey everyone, this is Stephanie with Market. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your estimate settings and your invoice settings on your desktop version. First, we're going into Sales and Estimates, and then selecting Settings from the left menu. If you haven't set up your email branding already with your logo, you can do this here, and it will appear on your estimates, work orders, and invoices. Scrolling down, you can change the prefix on your estimates or the next number in line being generated and when your estimate will be expiring. This is very important. You have both a residential and commercial tab for all of this information below. If you want your commercial customers set differently from your residential, just click this tab and then you'll make sure that this box is unchecked so you can edit this information separately for your commercial customers. As you scroll down, you'll have a default message, terms and conditions. You can also choose to upload a file from your desktop to go out with each one of these estimates. These are any things you want hidden on your estimate. If you send out an options estimate to your customer, all of the items on that will be checked by default. So if you want your customer to be able to select what they want from an empty list, you would uncheck this. If you want them to be able to see everything as checked and they will be forced to uncheck what they don't want, this is what you will have checked. Moving forward, we have capture customer e-signature. So this is going to make them sign before they're able to accept the estimate. And then importantly, auto convert accepted estimate to work order. So when a customer is emailed or texted their estimate and they accept it, it will be automatically converted into a work order. So if you don't want this checked, your estimate will just go into the accepted file until you're ready to convert that into a work order. When you're done, just press Save Changes. Now we're going to go to Sales and Invoices and Settings from the left menu. A lot of these are the same. You'll have your logo continuing forward. You'll be able to change the prefix and the next number in line. And again, you also have residential and commercial terms. Make sure that if you have different commercial terms, again, this box is unchecked and you'll be able to edit this information separately from your residential customers. So on these options, you have a default message, your terms and conditions, a make check payable to, so this is what name you need that check made out to, your due terms, and if you have online payments already set up through PayPal, Venmo, WePay, or Square, through your main settings, you'll then accept mobile payments and make sure that credit cards is an accepted payment method. So when you send your email or your invoice to your customer, they're going to be able to select pay now and move forward with that transaction. You also have the ability to choose a percentage or a fixed dollar amount as a payment fee for online payments. Again, different things that if you want hidden from the invoice, you can choose. This will allow you to add a tip line so that when your customer is paying your invoice, they can add a tip. And again, very important, once your work orders have been marked as complete, if you choose this, it will make that auto convert automatically into an invoice. If this is unchecked, your work order will stay in the completed file until you're ready to convert that. Finally, we have reoccurring invoice. So when you make a reoccurring invoice, you have the option to have that child invoice made as a draft. So that way you can choose when you want that sent out or you can have that made and sent automatically to your customer. Again, once you're done setting everything up, make sure that you save your changes. So those are the most important things to look at with your estimate and invoice settings. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us, but thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.